Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbel. Welcome to Glamour Lighting Setups. Even though today's setup is actually not so glamorous after all, yeah, we don't even have a model. What we have is two mannequins and those are not even my mannequins. I just borrowed them from a fashion designer in the neighborhood who was uh, kind enough to give it to me for a little fashion catalog shoot that I did for another client. And I used that last time as an example in another video of mine in uh, which I explained to you how I think that um, such a catalog shoot is so much easier for us amateurs in case we want to earn some money with photography, so much easier than let's say wedding photography or let's say micro stock photography. Yeah. So if you didn't watch that video, please go back, watch it right now. But what you won't find in that video is an explanation of the lighting setup. But you told me you want to have this explanation, so today I'm doing the video with the lighting setup. So what you want to do if you do if you want to do such photos really really good is you want to enable the viewer of your photos, uh, the uh, reader of the catalog or the user on the website, wherever your photos are, you want to enable them to really feel the fabric. Yeah. Um, you want to bring across the fabric and the three dimensionality of the garment. And what you also want is a clear separation from the background. Now, ideally, the background is 100% white. But be careful, if you too overexpose the background, then you easily get lens flare and that really reduces the quality of the image. Now, so have a careful or look careful when you're shooting. But I will now show you the basic setup. So what I used was a big white sweep, a paper backdrop, but you could also use a white wall. And just make sure nothing in the room is really colored and can throw a color cast onto your clothes. Now I had two speed lights in the background, one just hanging under the ceiling, um, yeah, attached to a, a ceiling lamp. The other one standing on the floor, both shooting into the background, exposing the background so that it's white. The manica standing in the middle in front of it then the main light coming from left and right now it's um, exactly the same setup left and right uh, it's a white shoot through umbrella at roughly a um, height of one meter sixty both speed lights left and right are on one fourth and uh, because I don't want to have a harsh contrast yeah there should be nothing in the shadows I also have a fill light right above the camera now it's also going through an umbrella filling in whatever shadows there could be. Camera, just on standard settings, 200th of a second, F11 for nice sharpness, uh, ISO 200 for good quality. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the white balance is set to uh, flash, however. Don't trust the white balance. I mean, if you do catalog photos, you really, really need to have an accurate white balance. So shoot with a great card. Ideally, even shoot with a color calibration target, like the color checker passport or something. Um, but at least you need a neutral gray target, like gray card, or I use this gray cube, and that helps for having exactly the correct white balance. And you really need that. All right, what other tips do I have for you? Before you put the uh, clothes onto the manicure, iron them. Yeah, use a steam iron. It's so much easier to iron closes or iron out the uh, folds in closes with a steam iron than it is to iron them out in Photoshop later on. So do it up front. Another thing, when you're shooting trousers, put the manica up onto a stool. Yeah, that way you don't shoot so much uh, ground, the paper that you have on the ground or whatever floor there is. You're shooting the trousers against the white backdrop, just like you shoot the the, the, the jumpers or sweaters or whatever you have yeah that's already it I mean it's, it's it's really simple it's that simple so if you haven't done such a shoot now you don't have any excuse anymore yeah so in the comments please tell me that you go right now find fashion designers on LinkedIn on Facebook and you turn them into your happy clients all right or if you think there's still any piece of the puzzle missing then let me know that one in the comments as well. I will answer. Besides that, click on plus one, click on like, and then stop the video and go get your assignment. All right. I wish you good light. Good.
Yeah.